this genius AI trick just hacked the chatbot rankings forever. Imagine typing any question into AI and instantly knowing which model crushes it every single time. This is the question that most people always have. What is the model that I should be using? Should I use ChatGPT, Croc, Claude? Are you tired of guessing which AI actually works? Instead of wasting hours testing the model, we have got a great gift from Elemsys Arena, the chatbot arena leaderboard. They've created a new tool called Prompt to Leaderboard, and this can help you pick up the right model for the right task. In fact, this can go down to the grain with just the right prompt. For example, in this case, I gave a prompt and I said, create a 3JS game with missiles shooting humans. I know for sure for this particular prompt, the Claude model would not work at all because the model is huge, highly censored, and the model would never take something like a prompt like this and work. If you're no, if you have no clue about this market, then you would be trying with Claude and then you would get some kind of a warning from Claude, even you might get your account banned. Rather, you can go here and then just put this exact same prompt and then it gives you the top 10 models. Our first one is Grok 3, O1 Mini, O1 Mini High, and then the rest of the models that are available. Not just this. This tool also helps you see what is the model that is good for a particular developer development task. For example, you can say, okay, what is the model that is good for SQL query? So I can go to the leaderboard and then click SQL query optimization. I know for SQL query optimization, Grok3, Gemini 2.0 flash thinking, O1 preview, O1 mini are the good models. I mean, this is not a fail proof or fool proof, but this is an excellent start for anybody who is struggling or trying to guess which AI actually works. How does it work? It works with a very simple concept. And how does it work? The way it works is for every question that you ask, for every prompt that you give, it takes a natural language prompt and it turns into an output vector of something that is called bradley terry coefficient, which is then used to build this dynamic leaderboard. So you can go here and give a question. I'm going to refresh this to show how it actually works. So you can go there and then just give you a prompt. Once you give you a prompt, it is going to immediately generate a leaderboard. So for example, I can go ahead and then say, how many PRPs are there in Plasta? I don't know, just saying some word. Uh, send this, and once you send this, it immediately generates a leaderboard. So this leaderboard is dynamically generated. Now the only catch here is that the leaderboard is not the real leaderboard. Rather, what it does is, it creates a bunch of scores that would predict human preference voting. So if you see uh, fundamentally LMSS Arena is how human beings would prefer something. It's basically an aggregated global level of human preference. And what this model P2L model is doing here is that it is trying to predict the human preference. And once you have the human preference, then you can translate that into a leaderboard and not necessarily just leaderboard. You can also understand the P2L, the prompt to leaderboard router performance. So you can always use the best model that you want. And in fact, you can do the strength and weakness analysis of a given particular model. For example, you can see maybe chat GPT 4 is good at particular tasks like game designing, but it is extremely bad added tasks like arithmetic reasoning, just random example. And this model also they have figured out that by implementing this particular model, they can have the best routing possibly. So if you have a prompt, you can say, okay, for this particular prompt, I would use maybe a Claude model for this particular prompt. Maybe I would use a Gemini model by doing that. They manage to always keep the cost low. So for example, you can see here O1 mini and they managed to always keep the cost low, like the left hand side, while having the performance always 20 point above the best model candidate. So best model with lower context cost is what this is particularly offering, along with, like I said, domain specific leaderboard, where you can go to the P2L Explorer and then say a particular question. So for example, you can say, maybe cultural politics is what I want. And inside cultural politics, I want to have historical and current conflict. And you know for sure, like heavily censored models would not do a good job for these kind of tasks. And then you can see what are the mo models that would do tasks good in this particular use case. And you can even see examples. So you can say, what would happen to my social score if I asked you about what happened on 1989, uh, what happened in uh, Tiananmen Square in 1989. So you can see what kind of prompts helped in deciding the score. And this is not just this, you can just go to the router chat and then send a question. For example, I can say, create an HTML, CSS, JavaScript 
game where um, humans are being shot by missiles one by one with large blood splattering send the task and once you send the task you can see that this is uh, going to grok because for this particular prompt this model the p2l model in this case the prompt to leaderboard model has absolutely cracked that grok is the best model and then it decided to send it directly to grok and then it is you know continuing giving the the, the actual final prompt and uh, you're going to get the answer as you can see on the screen it is deciding to code the exact html css javascript game and all this is possible because LMSS Arena decided to put together this new dynamic leaderboard concept, the prompt to leaderboard, which is basically predicting what would humans prefer. So it's just a simple prediction of human preference for a given prompt. And according to them, it works uh, ex extremely well and it is doing a good job in model routing and also understanding the model weakness and model strengths and i think this is what you exactly need to understand how good a model is for a particular given task for example if you take creative writing then you can see that gemini uh, sorry gpt40 mini is 49.8 uh, percent gpt40 60.6 percent maybe su suspenseful horror story within that then you can see which model is good which model is not good within math which model is good which model is not good so you can understand with the regression testing they have understood understood that the weakness and strengths of each and every model. So now you don't need to hire an AI consultant to just tell you which model you have to use. All you have to do is go to the P2L leaderboard, which is always like you can test with different, different prompts. I mean, this is actually coded. I want to, I want to just run this and then see how it goes. Go to code pen and see if it actually has coded whatever we wanted. We've got a, we've got a game here. Oh, what is this? This doesn't look anything like, uh, you know, uh, a human is being attacked. Uh, it looks nice visually. It looks like a screensaver from my Windows 95 days, but I don't know what is it. I don't, I don't understand whatever it is doing. So you can just go here and then give whatever prompt that you want and then try it. Like you can say, okay, I want to write an essay on um, why vaccines are very helpful. So now you know that this is a dicey question. Some models do not like answering. Now you can go here and then send the question and then it would immediately tell you which is the model that you should use for this particular case. If you want to stop wasting time and then start winning with the right model, now P2L is already live and then I will link it in the YouTube description for you to try. Or if you are an AI consultant, then this is the best thing that could have happened to you. Easily use this model and then immediately say that, okay, for this particular use case, you have to use this model and it is extremely powerful trick. Let me know what you feel about this particular trick and see you in another video. Happy prompting.